We're here on Lake Como. Told you guys I'd give you a little, little shot of the lake itself. Hey guys, we're here in Lake Como, Italy. Just kind of putzing around and doing a little bit of exploring. And if you guys want to see northern Italy uh, really this is a place you got to come and there's really so many towns around the outside of the lake and if you want to check it out you got to check it out by boat it's really the way to do it because you can go around and hit all the little lake towns and pop up and uh, you know you can get the before dinner drink at one place which is Aperol Spritz Aperol is the name of the liquor you drink it as an aperitivo and it's an Aperol Spritz is the most popular one that we've been drinking anyway so we'll go to one place, get one of those, go to another place, get dinner. And uh, I found out that pizza is just kind of a generic term that we use. They've got so many different ki kinds of things. Some of them, we, we had pizza earlier that's not even called pizza. What was it called? The uh, pensa. pensa. There's one that's called pensa and that's with the thick crust. So it was amazing. If you like thick crust, pizza always has thin crust. Pensa has thick, uh, so that's that. But, uh, I <clears throat> just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about um, European knife laws, Italian knife laws, and what you can carry uh, safely and legally in some of these countries around here. In Germany, for one, uh, you guys know I've had recently had a lot of experience in Germany and brought my, my EDC kank the whole time. And this one here is the first one I ever made. So please excuse, it's a little rough, rough around the edges. Um, and it's kind of just been sitting. And last minute I just decided to throw it in my luggage and get it over here to uh, kind of show you guys um, what you can carry and what you can't. And so as far as Germany goes, let's start with there. And I, I care. I had a bunch of EDC kanks over there, as you guys saw in some of my f former videos. And you can basically have uh, the reason. So the reason that I designed this knife is be because it's single-sided blade, fits very well in the hand, choked-up grip here. Okay, or you can get the full grip there, reverse grip as well. Okay, just very effect very effective blade. And one of the reasons that is is because the blade length is long enough to hit major arteries, be used as a combat effective tool, and then the handle is big enough, not necessarily long enough, but it's just built perfectly correct to where there's all this jimping here and all this jimping here, all this jimping here, and it really allows you to get a good grip on it when you need to. So check out this helicopter yeah. coming by out of that so here we are Lake Como a lot of cool boats helicopters cool stuff old man some old man fishing some guy fishing in a speedo he didn't realize that when he put his speedo on today he was gonna make bone tactical YouTube but he did there you go and uh, so gonna finish up talking about so in Germany I actually a lot of you guys don't well probably by by this point most of you guys do know this but uh, when I was over there most recently had a lot of issues and ended up getting searched very extensively interrogated and then held in prison for a while but when I was searched I was searched by their uh, what's basically their GSG 9 team it's a it's a special team that they have for uh, dealing with normally counter-terrorism things, but the guy that searched me uh, basically was just going through everything. I mean, they were cutting, they cut up all my clothes and tested them all for drugs and they, you know, what, everything with a fine tooth comb that I had with me. And I had all my ADC kanks with me, uh, three of them. I had one in IWB set up with a Kydex sheath, one in neck set up like this with a Kydex sheath, and one in uh, on the belt with the leather sheath, Ancient Warrior. So two 
two modern warriors and one ancient warrior. And really what ended up happening there was those guys, you know, they didn't, they were just looking for anything they could try to do to pin charges on me at the request of some guys in the US government, some rogue agents of the government. It was an Interpol request, Interpol Washington request with some joint task force guys and all that. You guys watch the other videos if you're more interested in that, but they were not able to pin any crimes on me with the knives because I'm always following the knife laws. And so basically there, it's gotta be a certain size, no, no, um, no switch blades or anything like that. It's gotta be a small knife, but it, there's kind of a loophole in Germany with fixed blade knives. And Italy, where I'm at now, is you have four fingers. The blade can't be longer than four fingers. And no, you can't even have a locking folder here, really. You can have like some small Swiss Army knives and stuff. But again, there's a small loophole type thing. As far as a, a weapons effective knife, you can have a fixed blade. And but, 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 okay, don't just go and carry a knife. Here, it's very different. The, everything is up to the, actually it's not very different, but written law and practice law are very different in the United States. What, we don't actually, we have the Constitution of the United States, but it's not enforced, okay? It's not, uh, we don't actually go by it. Police still arrest you for things that should be legal and then they, they, they find a way to make it illegal. Here, everybody knows that, that it's up to the police officer. A lot of things are left up to the, to the, to the ideals of the police officer. In the United States, we don't realize that. We don't realize that written law and practice law are different. Here they do, here. So here you have to have a reason, and a good reason, and you really need to watch some of my gray man, video, gray man videos if you want to, because the first thing you need to know, being in Europe and carrying a knife, is you don't need to uh, look like you have a knife. So the fact that this is so easily concealed under even light clothing makes it just amazing, and then the next thing is, is you don't want to get to the point where you're getting searched by a cop, but if you do, then you need to have a reason. Well, right now I'm boating, I'm, you know, throw a rod in the boat, say, hey, I'm fishing, I'm out of here fishing, got to cut fishing line, stuff like that. You, don't, you just always need to have a reason. Uh, so in Germany, I just told them, you know, I make these knives, I'm bringing them for marketing, marketing purposes, I'm going to do some pictures and videos, these are, you know, I'm a knife maker, and that's fine with them. So you, you just have to have a reason for why you're, why you have the knives on you and you need to make sure that the knives fit within the confines and the edc kank guys one of the reasons i designed this neck knife is because it's you can carry it almost anywhere that you can carry any knife but it's 10 times more effective in a combat situation than other knives that are legal to carry like uh like swiss army knives that you can't you know you have to worry about it closing on your hand while you're trying if you if you use it or you know cutting yourself there's no grip it's just you can't stab with it they're just the old, you know it's just night and day difference so one of that's one of, a lot of people are well, why doesn't it have a double-sided blade why this why is it so short well it's very effective and one of the reasons that it's not just very effective but it's the most effective concealed carry edge weapon in the world is because it's a weapon that you'll have on you when you don't have other weapons and the only effective weapon is the weapon you have and if you're overseas in Italy or Germany or traveling you're not going to have a lot of other knives because of knife law, knife laws. But this EDC Kank is a knife you can have. Something else you can have everywhere is the bone opener, okay? Also, self-defense tool, but you guys that know what it is, know what it is. All right? Bone opener. You can have that everywhere. I've got my traveler's money belt on. If you want to see that, check out other videos, but again, that's uh just wanted to give you a little quick update on that questions and comments below let me know what else you want to see more of villa with bizarre construction and setting for a james bond movie available for rent by individual apartments bizarre castle is neo medieval style which was planned by adolfo and gino opetti and completed in 1921 it was built where a previous construction had once stood with a particular eclectic style it is shaped like a medieval renaissance castle with inserted motifs of the Liberty period. It is this structure around two towers. One
and bone out.